surprise trigger warning my face welcome to the first and hopefully only live action barbie's gbf special as you can see by all of this chaos back here I'm moving, and I don't have the same exact setup that I used to, unfortunately. Bye bye glitter backdrop, you served your purpose. So it's part of the reason why I haven't uploaded in a while is because I've had a lot going on in my personal life. I got a new job, I got a new apartment, but out of nowhere, last week, the Barbie Rewind Collection dropped on Walmart.com and I had to get absolutely all of them because this collection is awesome and I can't wait any longer. I have to review this. Um, my froggy stuff already got her video out, so it's irrelevant at this point and old news, but I still want to take a look at it because I know a lot of people are like, um, yeah, Barbie's just not what she used to be. I wish she was more like she was whenever I was a kid. And I think that this is Mattel's direct answer to that. I really do. The designs are so cool they were designed by javier miabe who the only other thing that i know that he's worked on is the dia de muertos barbies which i will be making a dia de muertos video at least reviewing the ken i'm still on the fence about the barbie the barbie rewind series launches with the 80s edition a totally tubular throwback collection which commemorates our fave pop culture looks from the decade honestly <sighs> Mattel really loves to glorify the 80s, and I really hope that they continue the Barbie Rewind collection and maybe do a 90s and an early 2000s set. That would be awesome. Which, I'm a late 90s, early 2000s kid, and of course I don't remember the 80s because I wasn't conceived yet, but um, I really wish that they would continue this line and do something for more my generation. Barbie and her career girl look is an homage to peplum, shoulder pads, chunky accessories, and big hair. Don't care. Handle business on the go with the bombacious brick cell phone and legit business accessories. Yeah, I mean, they're not kidding. Look at how big that cell phone is. Like, people were really carrying those things around in the day. The packaging design is just beautiful i'm really trying to figure out who did the illustrations for the front of the box if anybody knows please let me know because this doesn't look anything like the regular like playline barbie illustrations unless the artists just up their game for this collection i don't know um but these illustrations are so so pretty I love how the box looks like a VHS tape. I did grow up with VHSs because I did come from kind of a poor family and I remember like going to Walmart and seeing the, they had a VHS aisle and the VHS aisle got replaced with DVDs at one point and now DVDs are getting replaced with Blu-rays and shit, uh, who knows how long they're going to be making Blu-rays with all the streaming services, but yeah, the box is so cool, how it looks like a VHS cassette. That's so cool. Um, and I love the typography. You can see the uh, 80s Barbie logo and the rewind looks like, yeah, the rewind looks like it was written in chalk or something. And it says, I mean, it says 80s edition as if they're planning to do other editions for different decades, which I hope they do. Slides right out. And on the back, yeah, you can see it's a it's a full on VHS cassette. That is so awesome. This would be so cool to just like display the box. I wonder if they're different colors or if they're all going to be like the same label on the front. So here's Barbie Rewind Career Girl displayed in her packaging. Sorry about the glare. This is my first time doing this, so cut me some slack. Try not to damage this box. So here's Barbie Rewind Career Girl straight out of her packaging. She uses the Superstar face sculpt, dated 1976. Man, the camera does not focus on my front view whatsoever. Sorry about that, guys. They gave her these gorgeous blue eyes and the signature 80s blue eyeliner. She's got like a dirty blonde hair color. It's not like a platinum blonde like most 80s Barbies had. And she also has brown eyebrows that matches her hair. The screenings on these dolls are obviously vintage inspired. Definitely inspired by the screenings on actual 80s Barbies. Also, her lip color is not pink. It's like a reddish color. This video is going to look like shit, y'all. I'm sorry. The front view does not focus whatsoever. Like, look at that. Look how blurry she is. The hair quality feels really good. It's definitely better than modern fashionistas. It's not polypropylene. 
and it's not that acetate thing that people are saying they're using. It, it feels like Saran. It's just got a lot of like gel in it to hold the curls on the back. But you could easily wash that out if you don't want it to be really crunchy. She's got this adorable black hat on top of her head and also a fabric bow. Like this is real fabric bow. A fabric accessory. Like, wow, that's unheard of for modern Barbie. Simple silver stud earrings. Now the design on this doll, Doll Junk sent me a picture of an Integrity Toys Gem in the Holograms doll that basically have this exact same outfit, just in a different color, so. So I don't know, I mean, they look really similar. I'd hate to think that the designer just got on Google Images and searched 80s fashion doll and basically copied the design for her, but what matters is this is a beautiful doll and this is a beautiful jacket. It's like this hot pink color made out of like a shiny satin material. It's not like hemmed on the edges or anything, but it doesn't look like it'll fray. It's lined at the sleeves. It's got these like black cuffs you can see. And also it's got this black trim around her chest, which looks really kick-ass. Love the shape of this jacket. I love these puff shoulders that she has. These are so cool. And it's fitted to her body. And we'll talk about the bodies here in a minute because they do have a new body type, which is really exciting. Um, the jacket opens in the front with like a plastic snap. Oh. Oh no, that's disappointing. No. So the skirt and the shirt are one piece. Unfortunately, they're sewn together. Damn it. It's okay. I mean, it's a pretty outfit. So she's wearing this light blue glitter shirt. It's like caked and glitter. It's not like, well, it's not like coming off. I guess you could remove that glitter if you didn't like it. But. The sleeves are short. It doesn't have long sleeves or anything. And under it, she's got this skirt. It's a really cute skirt. It's pink and black and white, like a dog tooth pattern. There's another word for this. I can't think of it right now. Her necklace has some painted detail. Hey, look at that. The Lunar New Year Barbie was $50 and she had two accessories. And look at all that this doll comes with. I'll never get over that. And pixel face. These dolls don't have pixel face. So that's great. Her necklace is like a hot pink color, but these rings on the front are painted white. So really appreciate the painted detail. Wish we didn't have to pay $40 for paint and detail, but I really like that the jacket has these metallic stud buttons at the front too. She's got a ring on her finger and it is a proper Barbie ring where it plugs into the hand and doesn't just cover the whole hand like a, like a brass knuckle. It matches her earrings. It's probably the same exact sculpt as her earrings, honestly. Oh, I was just about to talk about her shoes and they're already falling off. That's something about my childhood Barbies that had these pink pumps. Like these things will disappear in seconds if you're not careful. Yeah, she's got the classic pink Barbie pumps from the 1980s. And she also has these awesome light pink tights. Now let's talk about her body because she does have a new body type. It's kind of like a hybrid of the articulated bodies that you see on the Barbie extra dolls, plus the old school bend and snap knees. I know a lot of people were missing the bend and snap knees, so in my opinion, this is an upgrade from the 80s twist and turn body because, you know, that body just like the hand, the arms were like this, they were just static like this to karate chop or hold a baby, but this Barbie in 2021 can bend her elbows and also her wrists. The only thing that I don't like about this body, other than it's not made to move, is she's got, I wish her waist was a little bit more cinched. 
I know that the reason why it's not cinched is because oh, it's not realistic, but real people's feet aren't this small. So if her waist was a little bit more cinched, I feel like it would have helped the silhouette of this jacket a little bit better. Yeah, I definitely feel like this is an upgrade from the 80s body. I mean, you don't really even have to rebody her. Like, I don't even feel the urge to make her made to move. I mean, I probably still will, but for all the people who are like, eh, I don't like me to move because the joints look weird. This is the answer to that. You got the arm articulation and you got absolutely no seams. Just lost the shoe. Absolutely no seams at the ankle. <laughs> Oh my God, I forgot something really important. Well, I'm sorry, June. I just don't know how to fit you in this one. This channel would be nothing without me. All right, you can help me show the accessories. Here's the 80s brick phone that she comes with. It's got a lot of really cool painted detail on it. Like all the numbers are painted and also the Barbie logo, the 80s Barbie logo is painted on there. It's a really, really fun accessory. It's probably my favorite accessory that she comes with. She also comes with this old-fashioned business briefcase. It's got the same exact pattern that her skirt had on it. And it actually opens. Yeah, so the briefcase actually does open and shut. So you can put stuff in there. That's a really cool accessory. You can put these cardboard graphs and charts that she comes with in there. Cardboard accessories are garbage to me, to be honest. This, to me, looks like a calculator. It's just a piece of gray plastic with a sticker on the front. But it's cool that all of those accessories can fit in this little briefcase of hers. She also has the Vintage Seashell Barbie brush. Somebody actually did a comparison with an authentic brush from the 80s. I actually might have one around here, actually. I'm not gonna haunt around in this mess for one, but trust me whenever I say this doesn't have as many prongs on it than the original brush had. And I'm not really sure why that is. Um, I don't think anybody's actually going to be brushing their Barbie's hair with this. Like, I usually use a pet brush for my dolls. And this little cassette that she comes with turns into a doll stand. And that's a really neat design idea. I hope they all have different colored stands. That would be really cool. Yeah, so look at that. She looks great on the stand. All right, moving on. Here is the exterior of Barbie Rewind Working Outs box. Barbie in her workout look is inspired by bodacious spandex bodysuits, leg warmers, and the must-have sweatband accessories. Grab your gym bag. It's almost time for step aerobics class. And here she is displayed in her packaging. Again, sorry about the glare. Yeah, so she has a pink cassette, so they are all gonna have different colored stands. That's really awesome. So here is Barbie Rewind working out straight out of her packaging. She uses the Shawnee face sculpt, dated 1990. And there's been a little bit of uh, debate about the decision to use the Shawnee face sculpt for this doll. Because Shawnee is from the 90s. And me and Andrea had a discussion about this. And I suggested that it would have been a good idea if they were to use the Spanish face sculpt for this doll. Because the Spanish face sculpt is one of the most underused Barbie face sculpts, and she was primarily used for African-American Barbies in the 1980s, so it would have been a great opportunity to bring her back. But I love Shawnee, and she's also really underused, not as underused as Michelle is, but I love this facial screening for her way better than the original Shawnee's facial screening, if I'm gonna be completely honest. She's got very minimal makeup, but you know, this is a workout doll. She does have baby hairs, though. Like if you pull back her headband, you can see that, yes, she does have laid edges. So that's a really awesome detail that I didn't expect her to have. She's got like orangish brown eyes and some subtle purple eyeshadow, and like a reddish pinkish lipstick and some light blushing on her cheeks. Her hair is so soft. It's like a raven black color. It's tied up with a pink elastic into the side pony. Her headband is just on an elastic in the back. It shares the same exact fabric as the leg warmers, which are a separate piece to the tights. But the tights are attached to the, um, to the leotard she's wearing. I don't know what else to call that. Unfortunately, 
I can see where Mattel has kind of cut corners in places. I want to say that they attached it to the leotard so that there wouldn't be a visible seam in here with the top of the pantyhose, but honestly, it was probably just to save money. Shawnee's skin tone is like a yellow top, basically. So if you wanted to make her mates move, and this would be the one out of the whole collection that you would want to make mates move because she's an aerobics doll. She'd match yellow top. She's got these blue dangly star earrings. Are they removable? No, actually, no. She's a collector doll, but her earrings are not removable. So I'm not sure, maybe Mattel was still thinking people might buy these for their kids. I mean, they buy them $40 LOL dolls, so why wouldn't they buy them a $40 Barbie? So Shawnee wears this purple cropped shirt. It's got the 80s Barbie logo on it. It's just printed on the front. It looks really cute. It's a separate piece to the leotard. The leotard is a Barbie pink color with the 80s Barbie logo scattered on it. And also the belt is a separate piece. It Velcros in the back. So you can just take the belt off and use it on another doll's outfit very easily. And I appreciate that because this is a really cute piece. And I can definitely see myself working this into another outfit. I love that silver heart buckle though. That is so cute. This doll is so cute. Love her. Love this whole collection. She's got some pink armbands and her hands have these purple weights tied to them. I don't know. Oh, okay. So they kind of wrap around her hands so she can she can hold those even without the elastic. They also gave her a wedding ring. I'm, I'm not sure why they did that, but I mean, all Barbies in the 80s had wedding rings, so I guess it's to help with authenticity. I really wish these blue tights were separate to the leotard, damn it. I guess if I wanted to use them, I could just put the leotard on another doll and just layer the other clothes over it if I wanted to do that. The leg warmers have sort of like a geometric pattern on it, very stereotypical 80s pattern. She's got heeled feet, but she's wearing these purple sneakers. They kind of had to do like a monster high thing where the shoe sculpt is kind of bent to accommodate for her heeled feet. I hate flat feet on dolls when they're not articulated, so I'm glad they did this, and I'm also glad that they painted the um, white sole of the shoe. Shawnee also comes with this fabric gym bag. How cool is that? A fabric bag for a Barbie doll, and it's only $40. It's a very thin material, but it honestly, it feels like an actual like gym bag material. Um, it's got a lot of cool detail. I mean, all the detail that you'd really want on a doll's gym bag. It's got a little piece of cardboard inside of it to kind of help hold the shape. Like a Barbie pink color with the vintage Barbie B and some two geometric triangles on the front. It's cute. I like it. You can hold all of her accessories in it, like her um, weights. Um, she also comes with this thing. I'm gonna be honest, I don't know what this thing is called. I've seen some workout videos where they step on them. I don't really know what that's supposed to accomplish. I guess you're building your leg muscles or something. And she comes with a blue brush. I mean, it don't work that bad, but I'm still gonna stick to my pet brush. And unfortunately, here is the final Barbie Rewind doll that we're gonna be taking a look at today. Here is the, I think it's called Doll's Night Out. Here is a good look at her illustration. The dance party look wouldn't be legit without her radical ruffles, bodacious bold colors, and fly fishnet ankle socks. Set up your boombox for an impromptu Doll's Night Out. And here is a look at her in her packaging. And this is probably my favorite one because she uses the Steffi face sculpt. Finally, they brought Steffi back. And here she is straight out of her packaging. Like I said, she does use the Steffi face sculpt, dated 1971. I am so happy that they finally brought Steffi back and she looks so adorable. I love this facial screening for her. She's got brown eyes and a pink lipstick. And she's got a very tan complexion. I would really want to say she's Latina. And her hairstyle is truly outrageous. She's got those signature 80s bangs. Her hair is super soft. It's almost got a crimped texture to it. It's like a 
chocolatey brown color. It's got a little twist on the side too. That's really cute. I love her so much. She's so adorable. Look how cute she is with her pink mesh bow with these silver stars on it. I love her so much. Gosh, she's adorable. I know these earrings aren't an 80s accessory. I've definitely got some modern Barbie fashionistas that have had these triangle earrings but they fit with the 80s aesthetic, I feel like, because the 80s saw a lot of geometric shape patterns. So this accessory, even though it's a modern accessory, it does fit with her aesthetic. They're just white, but I think that's fine because the rest of her outfit's very, very loud. She's got this awesome neon green crop jacket. It's got like a, like almost a denim, trim and some pink threading as well. Under it she wears a pleather black crop top. And her skirt's really pretty too. It's more like a hot pink color. It's got some silver trim around the waist and also the same mesh from her bow. Both of these outfit pieces, they Velcro in the back. The jacket just slips over her. And one thing that I noticed about the bow on her head is it actually has like an elastic, so it can just slip off, which is good. I thought I was going to have to untie this bow to get it off of her head, but I'm glad that I can just take it off of her and put it on another doll or honestly, I'm probably going to leave this girl in her outfit. I think she looks really cool. And honestly, I don't know how much I'm going to customize these dolls. I really like how they're presented as is. She's got a lot of bracelets though. Like she has this purple one and this hot pink chain one. And on the other hand, she also has this, I don't think I've ever seen this one before. It's like a pink chain bangle. I really like this black mesh that they gave her around her arms and her uh, shoes. I think it adds some really cool edge to the outfit. And she also has a really cute microphone accessory and it actually has some painted detail on there. Like they painted the top of the microphone. I really appreciate that, it's so cool. But not only is she a singer, she also comes with this really cool keytar accessory. It's made out of this clear blue plastic, but it does have a lot of printed detail. Like you can see the keyboard and a bunch of the geometric shapes and also the 80s Barbie logo. A lot of cool painted detail. And also she comes with this purple boom box. I'm pretty sure that I've got this sculpt before in the past. I'm not sure if I showed it before, but her stand is purple. Yeah, Steffi is definitely my favorite from this collection. And some people have been saying that she's going to be a Walmart exclusive. I'm not sure how true that is. And I don't really have any information on how these dolls are gonna be released overseas. I hope that you all get her because I know that not every country, especially Australia, like not every country has Walmart. I'm sure she'll make it to your country somehow, but she is rumored to be a Walmart exclusive. So yeah, I mean, those are my thoughts on the Barbie Rewind dolls. It was a very awesome collection. I really think that this collection is Mattel's answer to what older Barbie fans have been wanting from her. If you all like this collection, or if you at least think it's a step in the right direction for Barbie, you gotta buy the dolls. Like, we have to support this line if we want more of this stuff from Mattel. You can make as many stupid petitions as you want to, but nothing speaks louder than money. I just hope, and I've said this before, I hope that if we see another wave of this doll line that it's on par quality wise with what we're seeing in wave one. Like, I don't want to get another wave of Barbie Rewind for the 90s or the early 2000s, and suddenly they have pixel face, or suddenly they have polypropylene hair. Like, Mattel does that shit. Like, people will support a new Barbie collection, and then, surprise, quality drop. That is so insulting to collectors. And these are collector dolls. These are made for me. These are made for you. These are made for adults. These dolls are made for people who grew up with Barbie, who remember her glory days, whenever she wasn't the laughing stock of the Dollyverse. I almost exclusively collect Barbie, and I always address the quality control issues with modern Barbie. But I also like to highlight the good things about modern Barbie, like the diversity in body types, and different face sculpts, and different skin colors, and different hair textures, and. There's a lot of good things about modern Barbie, but honestly, I'm not really here to sell her to you. I'm a salesman. I've worked in sales for many years, but I'm not really here to sell Barbie to you. I will always give you my honest opinion and I'll let you know if I recommend you to buy 
something. Like with Barbie Looks. I genuinely think that Barbie Looks and Barbie Rewind are a step in the right direction for Barbie. And if you care about Barbie and you're a collector, please buy these dolls because I wanna see more of this. And I'm sure that you wanna see more of this too. As always, thank you so, so much for joining me today as I took a look at the brand new Barbie Rewind collection. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe if you enjoy my content to support my channel. And I'll see you all in the next video. Thank you so much. Bye.